In the grand ballroom of the hotel, a lavish wedding celebration unfolds, with a multitude of guests in attendance. The newlyweds are seen warmly greeting their guests, their faces adorned with radiant smiles as if the joy of their union knows no bounds. However, this marriage is merely an arrangement. I hope you understand that. So, let me remind you not to interfere in my life, because I dislike people who try to control me. That was the first sentence heard by the wife, Park Yin, from her husband, Jian Jungkook. Their wedding reception had just ended this afternoon, and tonight Jungkook had already taken her to live with him in their new home. Yes, I will try my best not to disturb you. After saying that, Jungkook immediately left her, who looked sadly at his broad back. She sighed heavily. Will my married life be smooth from now on? Yin glanced around the bedroom. If only she had married a man who loved her, tonight might have been very romantic. But. Is it even possible for us to do that? Impossible. Just look at his cold expression earlier. Yin started to clean herself up in the bathroom and changed out of her nightgown. Then, she quietly approached the bed again and rested her exhausted body. She looked at the empty space beside her, which should have been occupied by her husband. Will he sleep here? It's not possible, is it? How could he possibly want to share a bed with me? Shortly after, the bedroom door opened, revealing Jungkook's figure. Before Yin could call out to him, he entered the bathroom. Soon, the sound of water splashing indicated that he was showering. For some reason, Yin started to think about her husband's athletic body. Quickly, she shook her head. Yin, you fool, what are you thinking? Why am I having such lewd thoughts? The bathroom door opened, revealing Jungkook with a towel wrapped around his waist, exposing his toned abdomen. Yin couldn't help but admire his body. Moments later, their eyes met and he could see Yin staring at him. Yin quickly averted her gaze in embarrassment when caught. Jungkook himself ignored her and put on his sleepwear. Shortly after, he went to bed and lay down, turning his back to her. Yin looked sadly at his back. Meanwhile, Jungkook still couldn't sleep, his mind wandering. Suddenly, memories of his dark past resurfaced. He closed his eyes tightly, trying to control his breathing. Dad, why don't you and mom ever get along? Why do you always argue? It's because your mother destroyed everything I had. I gave her my heart and sincere love. I even abandoned my dreams to pursue her. But what happened? After I gave her all my happiness, she betrayed me. Look at us now. Just the two of us having dinner here. Where is she? She's out there cheating with her lover. Jungkook, you don't need to trust women. Never give your heart and feelings to women when they easily replace your position with someone better. If necessary, you don't have to get married. When you're grown up, enjoy your successful moments alone, travel the world, and enjoy your success without women. No woman truly loves you sincerely. And foolishly, I still can't divorce your mother until now. So Jungkook, never trust women, okay? Okay, dad. Jungkook had just returned from school when he noticed blood stains all over the living room of his house. Blood was everywhere. His eyes widened as he saw both his parents lying lifeless. Jungkook was truly terrified, his body trembling but he still had the presence of mind to run outside and scream for help, until eventually, people began to gather at his house. Several minutes later, the police and an ambulance arrived to secure the condition of his home. From the CCTV footage of their house and the investigation conducted by the police, it was revealed that his mother was killed by his father with a knife following a heated argument between the two. After his mother's death, his father took his own life immediately thereafter, as seen in the CCTV footage. This gruesome incident proved to be a tragedy for both of Jungkook's parents. Now orphaned, Jungkook was fortunate to have his uncle, his father's younger brother, willing to take care of him and adopt him as his own son. Coincidentally, his uncle and Andy did not have any children of their own, so they treated Jungkook as their own flesh and blood. After that horrific incident, Jungkook never returned to that house again. His parents' home had become a place filled with deep sorrow for him. The trauma he experienced as a child was evident, prompting his uncle to decide to sell the house so that Jungkook could move on from those dreadful times. Since his parents passed away, Jungkook had been nurtured by his uncle and Andy with love and care. However, there was still an emotional void that couldn't be filled by his uncle. The trauma he experienced lingered with him to some extent as he grew older. As he matured, his uncle began to worry because he seemed unwilling to open his heart to any woman. His uncle tried various ways to introduce him to women whom he deemed good and suitable but Jungkook repeatedly rejected them. Nevertheless, his uncle didn't want to see him continue living alone like that. Eventually, for the last time, Jungkook inexplicably agreed to an arranged marriage orchestrated by his uncle. Surprisingly, the woman turned out to be Yin, who had become his wife. 
It seemed Jungkook had felt pity for his uncle's efforts to mend his heart. Eventually, he relented and tried to accept the arranged marriage without dwelling too much on what his married life would be like. And this is how their current marriage is, cold as ice. As usual, Yin wakes up early to prepare breakfast for her husband. Even though Jungkook is cold towards her, it's not a reason for her to neglect her duties as a wife. She will make Jungkook accept her presence. Since Yin doesn't work, she takes the initiative to take care of the household chores. Just after she finishes the last dish, her husband finally comes down wearing his suit. He's heading straight to the office during our new married life. Yin tries to show her best smile to her husband. Jungkook, let's have breakfast first. No need, I'll head straight to the office. But I've prepared all this food. At least have a little? Then pack it in a container. I'll take it to the office. I'll have breakfast there. But I want to have breakfast with you. Can't you understand that I'm busy right now? Fine, fine. I'll pack this food for you to take to the office. A few moments later, some of the food is already stored. Yin hands it to Jungkook, who accepts it and then immediately leaves the house for his car to go to work. He didn't even say goodbye, and left without saying anything to me. Truly an ice-cold man. It seems I have to train my patience a thousand times over from now on. One month has passed. It's been one month, and there hasn't been the slightest change from him. Her husband remains cold towards her, even though she has tried to be a good wife by serving all his needs before he goes to work, welcoming him warmly upon his return. She always prepares breakfast, packs his lunch, lays out his clothes, and even prepares warm water for his shower but it seems her husband remains unmoved. The situation worsens when Yin begins to realize that love is growing in her heart. She feels foolish for falling in love with her husband, who is as cold as ice. But what can she do? She has always cared for her husband's well-being, and inadvertently, love has grown in her heart without her realizing it. Yin walks to the kitchen because she feels thirsty. She looks at the clock indicating midnight. Her husband hasn't returned yet, as Jungkook usually comes home late at night due to being busy with work at his office. However, a car has just parked in their driveway. Yin understands it's her husband's car. Shortly after, Jungkook enters the house. Jungkook walks towards the kitchen. He is surprised to see Yin there. But what surprises him more is Yin wearing a revealing nightgown, making something of his titan and start to throb. Jungkook approaches her. Without a word, he immediately kisses her lips intensely, while Yin who was initially surprised, eventually enjoys his action. She purposely wears a revealing nightgown this time because she's curious about her husband's reaction. Are you deliberately wearing this outfit to seduce me, huh? Jungkook says, between attacking her white neck with his lips. No, it's just a dress I usually wear every night. No, this one is more revealing than usual. His hands seem to have found his pleasure now, as he squeezes both of her relaxing balls. She instantly lets out a soft moan. The sensation from his hands truly makes her body react. Their eyes meet, and the haze of desire is clearly visible in both of their eyes. The sound of their breaths becomes clearer as it starts to feel heavy. His hands still don't stop squeezing while her hands grip the table to channel the sensation she's enjoying at the moment. Jungkook begins to bring his face closer again, kissing her cheek slowly, then whispering. I know your true intention in wearing this dress, and you should have prepared yourself for this situation, right? Yin, increasingly lulled by her husband's touch, still attempts to respond despite her own heavy breath. Actually, I didn't mean to tempt you, but if you're tempted, it's not my fault. I'm not blaming you, but it means you're ready to be my wife in full from tonight. His hands become more enthusiastic in fulfilling their task. Meanwhile, his gaze becomes more intense, observing his wife who now appears different in his eyes, her face flush, her eyes weakened and her breathing audible. Unable to deny it, Yin appears different tonight in his eyes. Why? Did he just realize that his wife is actually very beautiful? Feeling continuously watched by him, she finally lowers her head, but his fingers are already holding her chin to prevent her from doing so. Once again, their gazes meet. I'm just warning you that I won't stop once I've started. So be prepared. I am ready. Jungkook carries Yin to the bedroom and continues there. But don't think they're doing it out of love. Maybe only Yin feels that way. But Jungkook, he's just satisfying his desires. You like it, don't you? Yin gently strokes her husband's broad chest, which is still above her. Honestly, Yin is starting to feel tired tonight. But it seems Jungkook hasn't stopped yet and it's not over. Yin keeps gazing at her husband with love. This is alarming. What if after this, her love continues to grow and develop even more? Her body now begins to feel weak, the thing of her body starting to feel sore because he hasn't stopped since earlier but she tries to keep smiling in front of him. Deep down, she really wants to confess her current feelings of love, but she's still not ready. She knows her husband doesn't love her yet. 
Yeah, I do. I can't deny that it feels so good. Her heart aches slightly upon hearing this. She already knows his reasons for being with her are purely physical. Her hope now is that perhaps after this, love will grow in his heart for her, so her love won't be unrequited anymore. A few minutes later, Jungkook reaches his release. After finishing, he lies down next to her. His breath is labored. It seems he truly enjoyed tonight. Is that all? No thank you. Kiss for me? Jungkook smiles faintly, then leans in to kiss her forehead for a few seconds. She smiles faintly, enjoying it. Finally, that night, they fall asleep, feeling extraordinarily tired. The next morning, Yin always hoped that after they finished their marital relations, Jungkook's attitude would change slightly towards her. However, Jungkook still remained cold towards her. It was as if nothing had happened between them last night. Today is Sunday. Yin is sitting on the sofa, right next to her husband, while Jungkook has been busy with his iPad for hours. Um, Jungkook, could you please help me go to the supermarket today? We've run out of supplies in the kitchen. Today is indeed a holiday, but I still have a lot of work to do. Just make a list and I'll order everything online later. That's usually how I do it. Jungkook says without taking his eyes off his iPad, his hands still busy touching the screen. Why do we have to shop online? I just want to spend time with you outside. What's the difference between spending time with me at home or outside? Haven't you been sitting next to me all this time? Does this mean you're not spending time with me? What do you mean? Spending time with you. You've been busy working. It's better for me to work at home than to go to the office on a Sunday like this. Yin, don't give me a headache. I need to concentrate right now. Yin snorts irritably. Then she turns on the TV. Now she doesn't care whether Jungkook feels disturbed or not. Slowly, she glances at him. It seems he doesn't mind, and he remains focused on his work. Later that night, as usual, they slept back to back. However, for some reason tonight, Yin couldn't sleep as usual. Two hours had passed, and she had tried to close her eyes several times, but failed. She glanced to the side where her husband was already asleep, facing away from her. She turned her body to look at his broad back. Yin smiled softly as she looked at his back. Slowly, she approached him and hugged him from behind. She thought maybe her husband was already asleep soundly, listening to his soft snoring. Jungkook, I have to tell you this. I truly love you, even though you probably never felt the same way about me. We even have sex just for self-gratification. But for me, I do it with full love for you. Her heart suddenly felt tight, imagining her unrequited love. Her eyes began to feel warm. Jungkook, why do you always act cold towards me? Where did I go wrong? Is there really no space in your heart for me at all? At first, I didn't want this marriage either. But I don't know when I started to love you. She couldn't hold back her tears now, her heart feeling even tighter. Her tears flowed more intensely. So, can you please stop being cold to me? I feel so sad when you always ignore me. I want to be like other wives who can be affectionate with their own husbands. You're always busy with your work to the point where there's no time for us to vacation together. We haven't even had our honeymoon yet, but I don't expect us to do it. I know you're busy. Even so, I just want you to stop being cold to me. Yin poured out all her anxieties and sadness on his back. His shirt was now wet with her tears. She thought her husband was already asleep, so she dared to express everything. However, unbeknownst to her, Jungkook hadn't fully fallen asleep yet. There, he opened his eyes after she poured out her heart. Especially now, he could faintly hear her sobbing. Somehow his heart ached feeling like it was being squeezed, hearing everything his wife had just revealed. 